In this video, learn how to install the current Eclipse version on Windows 10. With that, we will also run a sample Java program after installing Eclipse. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any web browser. On Google, type Eclipse and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it. Eclipse.org. Here it is. Now click download. After clicking download, you need to go below. Click download x86 underscore 64, that is for the 64 bit Windows 10 operating system. Click on it to download. Now click download here. This will start the download. The download started. Here it is. Let's wait. The download completed. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize. The setup started. Here in Eclipse is uh, visible for Java. For C, C++ developers. Below for PHP developers. I'll be installing the Eclipse ID for Java developers. Click on it. Here it is guys, the installer folder is visible, Eclipse will get installed here and uh, it has taken the current version of Java, GRE, it includes uh, JDK, Java, everything, so you don't need to install it separately. It will create a start menu as well as a desktop shortcut which is fine, click install. Now the installation will begin, let's wait. The setup completed, Eclipse installed. You need to click on launch or a desktop shortcut also got created. You can double click here to open it. Click launch. Now you need to select a workspace. Workspace is a place wherein all your files, projects, project directories as well as plugins will get saved. Keep it as it is. Okay. Keep it as default so that you don't need to set it again and again. All your project files and projects will get saved in the following location. Click launch. So we installed Eclipse successfully. Now let us run our first program. Close this. Go to file. Click new. Click new Java project. Add the project name. Add any name. Let I am adding Amit demo application. Execution environment. It took it automatically. Java 21 and it will get saved in the following location. If you remember, I told you all the project files will get saved in the workspace you have set. So it got saved here. Here in go below, you can uh, cancel this. We don't need this for a demo project. Click next. Now click finish, that's it. Here is our project. No file is there, no problem. Right click, go to new and add a new class, Java class. Name the class. Let me name it to, to example. Package, uh, set any package. In a package you can add multiple class files, so I am setting it here. Go for public static void main the default and click finish. We are creating a basic project. Here it is. Example.java under com.studio.pdf package. Now the name of the file is similar to the class file. This is what uh, this is what happens in uh, Java. You need to keep the file name similar to the class name. Now let us print something. I am using system.out.println to print something. Whatever I'll add inside will get printed. Let's say I'm printing this. Okay, 
now i'll go to file i'll save all now i'll right click and uh, run as java application here is an error semicolon we missed the semicolon we added it and now i'll right click again and go to run as java application now it ran successfully you can easily check that here it is subscribe and amithing subscribe